We're going to do a quick uh, video tutorial using uh, shortcut keys in Google SketchUp. Uh, as you become more comfortable uh, with your drawing in SketchUp, you're going to find that the use of uh, uh, shortcut keys that are assigned to different functions will really speed up your process. Now Google SketchUp does come with uh, many pre-assigned shortcuts and you can find uh, the, the shortcut next to the function in the drop-down menu. Now anything that uh, you can find in the drop-down menus, uh, including uh, some of the sub-menus, you can assign a, a shortcut to. Uh, in fact, when you uh, load a uh, plugins those do not come with uh, shortcuts so if you find that you're using a plugin uh, fairly frequently it'd be nice to assign a shortcut to that. Uh, some of the shortcuts just have single letters uh, some of them are the control plus a letter uh, delete buttons uh, some of these are uh, shortcuts that are used uh, by the operating system also uh, and it's best not to uh, change those and those are you know file management and uh, and edit uh, uh, procedures uh, like the control X C and V uh, if you reassign those uh, they'll work for that session but the next time you uh, log on to uh, SketchUp uh, you're going to find that they revert back to the original. Um, so there's uh, under the draw uh, menu uh, this Bezier spline curves. Uh, the classic Bezier curve is a uh, function that I use fairly frequently. So let's assign a shortcut to that. To do that, we just go to the windows and then under preferences you'll find that shortcuts is one of the options and the options are listed according to uh, the me menu uh, selections up above so we knew that or know that we want to uh, assign a shortcut to a draw tool so we're going to find draw and I was going to assign it to the Bezier spline curves, the classic Bezier. So we just highlight that and then I was going to use I as uh, my shortcut. And then we'll hit the plus button and you can see it drops down into the assigned area. So let's give that a try. I'll hit the I button. and it looks like our classic Bezier tool is fully functional. Now if we want to know if a, a shortcut has been assigned um, all we have to do is just hit the key and see what happens. Um, this uh, tool up here, uh, plug-in, uh, is a shape bender by Chris Falmer. Uh, it's another one that I use fairly frequently and at this pre point has not uh, been assigned a shortcut. I want to assign that uh, shortcut of N. Uh, first thing I can do is check to see if N has been assigned and it looks like when I hit the N key we did have the uh, query tool come up. Now the query tool is really something I don't use very often so uh, if I want to assign the shape bender uh, to N uh, the first thing I need to do is unassign the uh, query tool. Now I know a query, query tool is under tools, utilities, and query tool. So let's go back down to preferences. See if we can find uh, utilities. Query tool. You see it's already been assigned. If we just highlight that and then hit the negative sign, it takes it off. Now we're going to reassign that to uh, Chris Fulmer's uh, shape bender. And I know that is in the plugins under Chris Falmer's tools, 
and shape bender. So we're gonna find our plugin tools. Here's Chris Falmer's tool, Shape Bender. And add. So it looks like that one is fully functional too. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, give it a try and see if it works for you.